Yes. How can you experimentally measure the mass of a particle that you haven't ever isolated? Like the quote. So they are measured in the deep elastic scattering um, experiments. And what I will tell you is there's a idea called asymptotic freedom. Um, it turns out the interaction between two quarks works a lot like uh, spring force. So if you, two quarks, they all work a lot like a spring force. Um, it may not be actually spring force, but it sort of makes sense because anytime you have a stable equilibrium, you can always model it as harmonic oscillator potential. And so when the two quarks are very close to each other, the interaction, the strong interaction becomes weaker because the string is not as far stretched. So um, now in particle physics, closer distance means higher energy. So in higher energy, the strong interaction becomes smaller. So it becomes something that you can actually deal with more e with the easier calculational methods. So there now you can begin to model what the interaction would look like for particular, for particular rest masses of these quarks. That's how the rest mass of the up and down quarks are determined. Because, um, yeah, that's how they're determined. And the quark, the interaction working like a spring, um, spring force kind of explains why if you try to separate two quarks, then um, you will never actually be able to free up to separate quarks. Because at some point, you know, it will involve just so much potential energy that there may be enough energy involved in this interaction to produce a new set of quark and antiquark. So as you try to separate out two quarks apart, what you end up doing is you produce new mesons um, out of that energy that's uh, in the gluons. So, so it, as an answer to the question, how were those masses determined? In a scattering experiment. Um, people jokingly say particle physics is like uh, getting two Swiss watches, collide them together, look at the pieces that come out, and from the pieces that fall out, determine what was in the Swiss watch. Um, so, you know, not quite that, but it's uh, like that. And that's why particle accelerators are a big thing in particle physics experiment. High energy particle physics. Yeah? 